trauma-informed ways of working strengthen restorative ways of working and vice versa. So being knowledgeable about trauma helps to make restorative practices more informed and knowledge and skill of restorative practice helps make the notion of trauma more hopeful. Essentially, what we've learned on our journey is that when you understand the impact that trauma has on you emotionally, physically, neurologically, it's, it's, and, and then understanding what Bruce Perry talks about, about creating a sense of safety, about being able to regulate your emotions and having somebody to relate to enables you to be able to engage in restorative reflection. So there's a brilliant quote from John Dewey, who says that we don't learn from experience, we learn from reflecting on experience, and that's the restorative element. And what that reflection does when you use restorative language, because it's non-blaming, it enables you to be vulnerable, it enables you to take responsibility for your own actions, and it enables you to put right the harm that was caused. That gives you a sense of resilience it gives you an emotional um, and social kind of skill set that will take you through life and working with young people and adults who are have experienced trauma just means that they, it doesn't so we get a lot in in training of saying well, it doesn't work with these kids it does you just need to spend more time on understanding the building blocks that come before that reflection so in order to engage in the reflection and put things right, they need to have safety and emotional regulation and an emotional adult to relate to in place in order to engage in that conversation. And it's that understanding the two come together because if you, you can be trauma informed, a restorative practice gives you the language with which to move on from the trauma, from the incident of harm and be able to repair it.